thank goodness for this person sitting in the back here. <laughs> or else we wouldn't have anything recorded today. <laughs> hey, welcome to Car Radio. Hi. We've got a special guest. And she's very special and we love her very much. Hey, Irene. Hi. Hey, um, you know, what's really funny <laughs> is that I knew where you lived without you telling me where you lived. Because, you know, I didn't realize this, but people know where people live. Yeah. yeah. So you wrote your address down and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I know. And we walked into you. I know. We I know. walked into you the other That's day. right, we were going for a walk and then yeah. we, we bumped into uh, Christy and Irene come around the corner down here and they pointed us up here. Oh. So I would have to see, because I live just up there. Do you? Yeah, just wow. up there. Oh, so you look down then, Irene. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the only time <laughs> when yeah. you stand yeah. next yeah. to the car. <laughs> I, was just, right. I was just saying before that on a bus, Irene, like my legs, because I'm I'm only five nine, but my legs are ridiculously long, and on a bus, like my legs are up, like way up around my boobs. So for yeah. you, what do you, uh, you? How do you ride the bus? I don't ride the bus, but on a plane exactly the same scenario oh, seriously God. and then the people in front of you they feel tired and yeah. they want to <gasps> lean back and you're mm. like okay very <laughs> very very generous of you but come in closer so my knees are so long it, it must stick right through their backs do I you know what it must be uncomfortable Jonah told me the story once he was on a plane and he hadn't had any sleep and he was in he must have been in economy I don't know what was going on there <laughs> but he's in economy and you know how tall Jonah was like he was 6'5 and long long legs and he said and the person like leant back and he grabbed it and he went through it. and like he broke his he seat. broke their chair he broke their chair in a forward position like this so the person was like this he was so annoyed that the person had just like gone oh god and they turned around to see who did it and they didn't argue with him eh? no yeah. nah. I, I never recline though because i always think do i really need to recline nah. from like here to christchurch really yeah no, yeah really seriously cool. not domestic flights it's no. national no. if it's a long haul like a perth yeah. or england oh absolutely by all means, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. then everyone reclines so yeah. it is kind of it's okay yeah but it's the one odd one that feels like the world owe them something yeah that's so uh, true yeah, yeah. So weird, i just man. did something really bad i have to tell you guys yeah. I, so coming out of my garage there was a moving truck parked this was why i was running late a moving truck parked right in front of my garage and when the guys finally came i did that thing that i never want to do i was that woman oh i went what an effing stupid place to park <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh my god why didn't i just why wasn't i cool why didn't i just go it's okay boys because you had to get to this interview college <laughs> right. you know you prioritized this morning and you're such an awful person it's, that you, i knew you'd be so furious <laughs> Hey, yeah. how are you? And how how is your how did baby girl? Cause she's like she's grown up now. I know. Yes, Bianca's eighteen, and wow. she is in San Diego at the moment. What's she doing there? She got a rowing scholarship. Oh my and god! And oh, she left last hell. year, August, because their year runs from August to August. Yeah, because I went to school this so, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she is rowing her little heart out oh, and studying man. her heart out. What does she yes. do? What was she? What major does she do? She's studying kinesiology. Oh, what that is, <laughs> Movement or something, it is isn't the, it? Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. well-being of the human body. Yeah. So it's the spiritual, the psychology, oh, wow. the fitness, the nutrition. It's the whole well-being of the human wow. body. Wow. Yes, what it's a so fantastic cool, degree. Yeah, like, so... Back in 1845, when I went to <laughs> school, it was maths, English, yeah. <laughs> science. <laughs> but now you can study the spirit and the soul. And yeah. The, yeah. Wow, the funny the thing is, they yeah. don't recognize it in New Zealand. And... Um, um, Christy was like, so what are you going to do when you come back? She said that she is going to become a policewoman when she comes back. <gasps> what? I was like, how cool! Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. that'd be amazing. She'd be cool. the best policewoman. She'd be like, excuse me, what are you doing? By the way, how are you feeling about what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She would be way taller than all of them. Oh, no, absolutely. she would be walking down and they'll be like, okay, yes, yes, we were wrong. Yes, we won't ever do yeah. that again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was really weird. Okay, so so I've got to ask you, because when you're in the public eye, like you were with, with sport and like we were with the radio and stuff like that, yeah. when you're no longer in that public eye, because that people think you're unemployed. Yeah. And that you don't have a job and that you must yes. be a bum now. So, yes. so, so, <laughs> uh, like us. So, what you been doing? 
Well, I work for Netball Central Zone, right? And I'm doing the junior netball. So, oh. um, yes, it's a new initiative that Netball New Zealand brought out about three years ago. And That's cool. oh, it's amazing. Honestly, it's absolutely fantastic. So you have your your five and six year olds who play oh. on. I know they are so little. They come to up to my knees. Oh. That was so cute. Yeah. Um, and they play on a third of a netball court, and then the year fives and sixes they play on two thirds of a netball court, and then the oh. yes. So the game grows with the players. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like when they're 12 and 13, yeah. yes, when they're 12 and 13, they hit the seven aside, they know all the rules, they strategically, they have all the skills, tactically, they're sound. So, oh. yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. perfect. Man, you work because awesome. you're a teacher. So you're a teacher and you're able to combine your skill as a teacher and your skill as a sports person. Yeah, so it is. Cool. Oh, it is. It's oh. honestly, I love that job. And oh, I, amazing. I just, yeah, it is. I'm just amazing. Wow. I'm sorry, I just have to stop you both down to say that I really. I really wish that I was Bianca Van Dyke right now. <laughs> I wish that I was 18 in San Diego on a rowing scholarship. 18, you had your chance. I know, and I screwed it yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so busy with boys and drama. And, you had you know. fun though, didn't you? Yeah, did. Yeah, I mean, yeah but I, you, have, you, you don't need to know about that. <laughs> no, 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 look, I, I think she tells us what we need to know. <laughs> the other day, she Snapchatted me, and she was all sweaty. I was like, wow, are you training that hard? And she zoomed out. Out and she was in a togs and she was like it was like 28 degrees oh. and she was like midwinter. Oh Christy goodness. and I were sitting in our park as I was like 10 midsummer. It's <laughs> <laughs> just weird. I know yeah. it so is true. so yeah. hot over there. She just absolutely loves it. In a good spot. I haven't been there but um she sees it as just San Diego. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Mm. Yeah, it's a wonderful part it's of the beautiful, country. Right? Yeah. America. And they yeah. love New Zealanders because of the America's Cup and stuff. Yeah. 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 The funny thing too is Bianca is the. She sees it's like the United Nations. There are people from all over the world. Oh, it's cool. Um, and she said that the best friend she's made was Australian. She was like, Can you believe it? Yeah. Oh, no. That's my best. She was like, Mum, we are so different to the rest of the world. Yes. You have Do no what? idea. That's yeah. the thing, eh? When yeah. we go overseas, it's like us as New Zealanders, and you're a New Zealander, South African. Yeah. We, the first people we, we uh, go to are Australians. Yeah, you, know, Australians you know us. Yeah. And then South Africans. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. and then Poms sort of come in there. Oh, they do. We're Canadian yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> it's so funny. The Commonwealth. Yes. When yes. I um, go over and do those junkets in LA when there's all the actors and actresses from all over the world like you gravitate immediately if it's somebody that's Australian or South African you're like <gasps> yeah yeah, yeah. I'm so grateful yeah and then and then even the English and the Welsh and everything is yeah, like true yeah yeah well look we're gonna be back on the real radio eventually yeah um, please let me know because honestly my my life is empty with it oh. <laughs> seriously I you know I work at the ASB but I take the long route the longest route when you guys were on the radio just so I can laugh in the Aww. morning because honestly you guys just you gave me a reason to get to work you get, gave me a reason to get in the car and listen to you guys because you guys were so freaking funny me well I'm gonna yeah. text you as soon as as soon as, soon as, as I something can. comes up, maybe. As soon as one I day can. soon. As soon as I can. In the meantime, we'll just turn up here. Yes. Turn up here every morning. Just come and hang and we'll with me. <laughs> do a radio show for you in the car. Yes. Wait, no, better idea. We get in the back of Irene's car. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. See my car? It's got a wee little yellow oh, yeah. sunflower on it. What's I went to Upper Hut yesterday morning. Dying. And they stole my name. Oh. I had two, one on each side. And they stole my name. Oh, for goodness sake. Steals my name. So you okay, I'm gonna go and steal it. <laughs> <my name. laughs> See, See, See you later. See ya. Bye. Polly, give me back my name. <laughs> <laughs> I got your name. <laughs>